Dust off your favorite luchador mask, because the developers at Drinkbox Studios aren't ready to abandon their popular action platformer Guacamelee just yet. And on July 23rd in North America, and July 24th in Europe, they're unleashing the next set of DLC on the PlayStation Network, titled El Diablo's Domain. Inside, you'll find a new area to explore, the hellish grounds of El Infierno, as well as a trio of new costumes hidden inside Diablo's former headquarters. There's El Portero, inspired by 90s soccer superstar Jorge Campos and his colorful training gear. The animalistic Alabrije skin, based on vibrant Mexican folk art. And for the strongest players, Diablo's formal attire. The reason only the strongest players may get to see Diablo's suit is that you not only have to complete a series of torture chambers, but you have to meet strict performance-based conditions to earn silver or gold medals. Each of the costumes are locked behind doors that only unlock once you've acquired 10 of a specific metal type. Simply completing the tasks at hand automatically net you a bronze medal. With 10 bronze medals under your belt, you gain access to the El Portero costume. Each torture chamber presents a considerable challenge, quite often trumping anything else found in the rest of the game. We'll test every skill imaginable within the confines of Guacamelee's combat and platforming systems. You race against the clock, chase attack combos that add up to the hundreds, and navigate corridors packed to the gills with spikes, pitfalls, and other aggravating hazards, ensuring a test worthy of even the best players out there. If you think you've got what it takes, put your money where your mouth is when El Diablo's domain hits PSN later this week. North American customers can pick it up for $2.99, while the European release is priced at roughly 2.5 euros or 2 pounds sterling.